Alan tested a set of five. So this is a, that what he's holding up there is a 400 gigabyte Intel PCI Express SSD, the Intel SSD 750 series. Mm -hmm. It's a PCIe NVMe drive. We've talked about the drives before on the podcast. We yep. know how fast they are. Interestingly, for contests and giveaways, we actually had five of them in the office. And we decided That's, to put that, them. That is my view from my chair at my desk, actually. Uh, so what, they were, they were, they were literally staring down at me uh, for like a week or so. Yeah. And I just couldn't stand just kind of just being intimidated by that. So what did you do? What's the short here? You, you, we, plug, we basically wanted to say, okay, how fast can we make storage go if we plug in all five of these into one system? Yeah. Um, and we just quickly ran into other sorts of bottlenecks, right? So first we tried, uh, basically we took all five, plugged them into a system simultaneously, um, tried Windows software-based RAID, realized that that's definitely a bottleneck. We ended up capping out at a little bit over four gigabytes a second, which is pretty dang fast. But it's not as fast as five of those drives should go. Right. Right. Um, so that was one bottleneck we ran into. Then we realized that uh, one of those five ports we were using on the motherboard wasn't going at full speed because the motherboard just doesn't have that many lanes to that many ports that could all talk to it at full speed, all those five SSD 750s. And so once we got past those kind of, you know, stumbling blocks, um, we started doing some testing on just the four really fast ones. And we tested them without Windows RAID. We were basically just addressing all the drives simultaneously, individually, as mm -hmm. if uh, and that's not really practical from a user standpoint, but we're just trying to do an exercise in how many IOPS or how many. How but much it might throughput. be something like a business application yes. or enterprise use case would be where it's it is it is handling the intelligence of communicating yeah. to multiple yeah. drives. If you, if you had some piece of software handling the splitting of the data, so to speak, uh, then you could theoretically hit these numbers that we're going to show you, uh, you know, in right. these results. And so for sequential writes, like just straight line writing to four of these drives. Uh, five gig per second. Okay. Okay. So that's writing, just a straight line writing. Straight line reading from, from four of them, nine and a half gig per second. That's a lot. That's a pretty big number. And then I threw in the fifth one, which was, again, like I said, limited uh, by a, a separate bottleneck, not related to the SSD, but that was able to, that would have uh, pushed us past 10 gigabytes per second. So 10 gig per second sequential, that's a lot of data moving pretty dang quickly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then uh, we started to turn things more towards random and just see what the random I.O. capabilities are of, um, well, again, we went back to four because we didn't want that other bottleneck getting in our way. Sure. And we hit one point, almost 1 1.8 million I.O.s per second on random 4K reads, which is... Put that in perspective. Like, is that pretty much... Like a SATA SSD gets 50,000. Oh, okay. You know, maybe 100,000 if you got like a really you got good a really one. good one. Uh, yeah. Um, the rating of one of these SSDs individually is 430,000. Okay. Okay. So we did four of them and we got basically, you know, four, 430 <laughs> times four, roughly. Um, so they scale very well, right? Uh, and I should note, or I should mention that uh, we were using the pretty much the fastest consumer CPU we had in the office. Most number of cores, right? We're using a Core i7-5960X, and we had it overclocked uh, to four and a half gigahertz. Right. And even with all of that, we were m maxing out every single core and thread of that CPU when we hit that that number, right? It was like the system almost couldn't do any more, and, and even the mouse cursor was getting kind of jumpy on the screen <laughs> and stuff like that. It was really just like as as hard as you can push a PC really. Uh, so I tried to push it a little further, naturally. Um, and I did this trick where you, I basically just trimmed all of the drives. So I was not randomly reading actual data anymore. I was just mm. issuing random read commands to the drives. They didn't have to do any work, so they just turned around right away and just gave me zeros, basically. Right. Okay. Um, and by doing that, the rest of the system was able to hit over 2 million IOs per second. <laughs> so just as a data point, we know that like a 5960X overclocked, so four and a half gigahertz can handle over two million IOPS just by itself. And that's, at that point, to reach that number, you are just maximizing every single processor-capable IO that right. it can just, you know, you're, you're bottlenecked mm -hmm. by the CPU and 
just bandwidth of the system at that point, basically. But huh. it was a cool exercise and just, uh, you know, kind of toying around we with... We don't recommend people do this. Uh, no, no, but... Don't, don't um, do this. It's but no, it, there's no reason to do it. There really isn't. Uh, but it does go to show you where your bottlenecks might be, right? Like, if you're doing 430,000 IOPS from this SSD, even on that CPU at that speed, you're kind of using a quarter of the CPU, Mm, sure. Just to handle the IOs, right? And that's even with this being an NVMe device, which is known for very low latency, low very overhead. low CPU overhead, overhead yeah. right? Um, so, you know, it, you really have to have an application that's even going to be able to throw that much at it. Right. And, that's uh, tough to do, in a especially it, as a consumer. It really is, really especially like, like, you know, Grand Theft Auto V is not going to no. pull 430,000 <laughs> IOPS from an SSD, right? Uh, even booting the system, and if you had a desktop full of icons that it had to pull the little graphics from all over your drive and everything, right. still not 430,000. Yeah. Like, it might go at that rate, but it'll do it for, like, a fraction of a second, right? Just, just okay, done. Yeah, I, I blew through all those desktop icons. What's next? Nice. Yeah. nice.